Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Castlevania episode three of season two. We are traveling back to the household. We're trying to get some armory, trying to power up. And then the sexy vampire lady was like, that's what we're traveling to the exactly. armory to power up. So potentially getting a battle here. If you guys enjoying this, drop a like, drop a comment. Let's get into it. Backstory. To, to when I was a boy. Is this Alucard? Yeah. Yeah. Crazy, isn't it? Dude, dude was half human, half Dracula's son. Oh, here's the dead body. Him. I am. Just... Is that his dog? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh! Magic to bring him back. Wait, brought him back as a Demon thingy. dog? A zombie dog. Oh, is this guy that forges the zombies? Yeah. Sorry, I... No, it's not Alucard. No. Of course, yeah, it makes sense because he's the one that makes the armies. Yeah. I'm not... Oh! See the mouth just not the same. Yeah, but then his parents probably see this because he's human, right? Looks like a normal dog from the left side. Crazy. This one gets bad. Yep. That memory remains. Dracula's team, man. Bitch, what the fuck? I just brought you to life. Don't attack me. He's a bit ass. If he's at a risk of getting killed every time he makes one of these, it's it? not good. It's not worth this it. job ain't paying enough. Oh, you created me. Dad. Okay. <sighs> Fine. Well, I can't stop you from speaking to me. Your vampire aristocracy, after all, they either reproduce naturally or were created by acts of wild magic. Now they are soldiers. Their numbers have to be replenished. We didn't need forge masters until. It's a long process to make them, though. He listens to you. As much as he does to I do. Which is, frankly, not much. <laughs> I believe you are actually worried about Dracula. I am. It's. I don't like him to be indecisive. The fire in him has gone out. Somewhere. Yeah, he just seemed so out of it last episode. Mm -hmm. looking at the embers of the man. It means nothing to the war effort if we sent a group to the Belmont home to begin a search for their hold. <laughs> He's always making dogs. Why are you so fascinated by that? I agree to that. But Dracula must approve the dispensation of troops. How do I make him do that? How did you come to be in his service? I met him over a year ago. Well, not that long. This is when he was traveling as a man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he was looking for him. I was living in the east of Rhodes, very quiet. Rhodes? He'd heard of me from scholars in town and looked for me specifically. He was special. He told for Al, asking for my help. Oh, so this is post the execution. I've got you. In order to avenge a human. Ah. The way he said they, talking yeah. to a human rather than like human. your kind or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Humans you live apart from. He they looks cold. They must be stopped cold. Oh my gosh. Is this genocide, Dracula? It's a cleansing. I wouldn't have him suffer. And like any animal, I think the world would be poorer with their extinction. Okay. I would just seem to have they couldn't harm anyone else. And that is how it shall be. Whereas the other demons, or the other vampires, really want to exterminate mm -hmm. them. If humans became livestock, I would have no concern over that. If conditions were humane, <laughs> I was going to say merciful. Yeah, going to say it. Controlled population, making sure they cannot harm anyone else. Sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Damn, the blood. The blood. You're right. Giant. He was a giant. Only a year ago, but now. He's but a mere tiny. When a forge master reanimates a thing, it has total loyalty to the forge master and his. He could turn back on Dracula. It does. If he does, but he won't. And then help me convince Dracula to attack Freyla. She's something else, bro. Based on her looks and the way the camera is set up, you really f assume she's going to be like hornier. <laughs> That's my tree. Damn. He's playing that tree. In that tree, you know, he'd go inside it. It's hard to imagine you playing. Right? Lose everything that tree. Lose my house and my boat. When you're a kid. You make the imagination yeah. take over. <laughs> Such a meme. <laughs> at least they're there first. Cheese. True, actually. Look at that. It once looked nice. I wonder how long it's been since he came back. How old were you when your family home was taken? 13, 14, something like that. Damn. Maybe 12. <laughs> Who remembers that sort of thing? 12. 
Is there a point to these questions? Is he comparing it to himself? Maybe. I'm disturbed to find that I had more of a charm after you did. Crazy. Oh, that. Oh, it's fucking Dracula. <laughs> Cute. Ah, uh, let's stab each other next time. Yeah. There could be some defense set up here to like protect him from vampires, so yeah. it could affect him badly. Oh, our first glowing item. It's a vault, isn't it? I like the underground. <laughs> Dickhead. Yeah, I, I actually that. You've just discovered a big piece of stone. <laughs> it's the door. Don't. Oi. Oh. Can she interpret it? You yes. See now. Yeah. You won't be able to lift it. He's standing on top of it. My family got it off somehow. They told me they'd teach me how to do it one day. I suppose there was a special trick. Your parents knew the trick, but you didn't know where it came from or what it really was. Stand back. Can you open it? That'd be very impressive. See teamwork. Like everyone's doing a little bit of something here. I look hard with the rocks. <laughs> oh my days. Wow. She's so proud of it. I didn't know it was a fucking magic door. Doesn't make us black magicians. But you know that the word terror brings death, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It's the magical door of death, Belmont. Are you coming or what? I like how she phrased that. It's like they were using these things without actually knowing what they were. Mm. Oh, the first Belmont. I don't know. It is I, Belmont the first. Jeez. Past Anson. This is huge. Just Anson Street. Ancestry. Mm -hmm. Right here. Interesting. Lol. Let's go. And we were chased out. I think it was a Leon Belmont who entered the region first. This house. That's crazy. And so much shot in the house. For everything in this place, in this world, the underground is huge. Yeah, the underground is huge. Honestly, there's a massive hole underneath every single house. She's going to the library. She's gonna make the light. Pew pew pew. Lumos. Ooh. Oh, I like the music, bro. Bro, this must be heaven for who wants to. Oh gosh. Damn, heaven, huh? So much knowledge here. You could literally spend months, years studying probably half this shit. But I reckon the vampires will destroy it. There's one book in the middle. Let's just get power up and get out of it. She really wants to take it in. The memory of my family. All that's left of us. Oh. Is it organized? Maybe Belmont has a crystal ball in here. You could ask. He hates this so much. Our ancestors were apparently mentally ill hoarders. I thought they expect to find family cats mummified under some of these shelves. Unless your family prefer to eat them. There's an index on the lectern at the bottom. Nice. So this really is a managed collection. It's the work of generations. Bruh. That's crazy. Maybe that's the last guy in the painting. Maybe, yeah. That would make way more sense. Hmm, a necklace. Potions. Hunting Dracula. Dracula. Who it all is then? You asked that. Oh. Huh. Now why is that shut? Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, there's a chest, man. Right, let's break this so we can get in there. I tripped. Oh, yeah. it's the one piece. <laughs> da -na 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 -na. Oh shit! Now, would you really want to open that? Let's just hope there's something in there. It's not empty. Oh, gasp! Oh, because oh, he uses yeah, a yeah, so yeah, perfect. Yeah. Oh. What on earth is wow. Out of this thing? It's the morning star. Morning star. Please, an attack. This is quite amazing. Uh -oh. Do you think Alucard's angry? What are these skulls he's looking at? Is it's like a museum dedicated to the extermination of my people. Yeah. So no, Fair enough. Not thrilled. But also, you do want to kill your dad, so... I think that's a child. Ah. Uh, oh, mate. It's me, Viking. Approach, Godbrand. I feel like Godbrand's going to die this season. Oh, he's just shown too much. Humans, what are we gonna eat? If you kill all the humans, where does the continuing supply of human blood come from? It's like, oh crap. I allow you to go on feeding raids when we change location. I don't want to be rationing myself on fucking pig blood. I want a human shit. Pig blood gives me the shit. I'm sorry, but 
There it is. What if you just want to kill all the humans and you don't leave us enough to keep in camps to feed from? I will not be mm. by you. It goes back to how the episode started. Humans will die. You will be taken care of. Damn me. Little god. Oh! Damn. Oh, he's just insulting him. Little, little, little. Is important and dangerous. Oh my Are you God. going to continue questioning me? Are you going to fight me, little God Brand? That's crazy. Bro, Dracula really losing his shit. Mm -hmm. no, why are you still here making your little noise? Jeez, this guy. Alright, bro, chill. I just don't want to get the shits again from the pig blood. He's losing it. I still wouldn't want to try him in a straight fight. <laughs> strong suspicion. He hasn't fed in a while. Oh, maybe that's why he's yeah. like this. Yeah, of all people go without blood. Because. Because this isn't a war, Carmilla. His wife's dead and he wants to join her. And he wants to take all of us with him. We're all gonna die. <laughs> this guy's just losing it as well. Yeah. They're all losing it. You stupid bastard. Oh. Oh my days. What the fuck? She's gonna be on top of him. Ah! Oh! Vampire mommy. Focus your attention on the fact that Dracula needs to take this castle to Brea. I need that to drink blood. Let me tell you something. Oh, okay. I was turned centuries ago by a vampire monster who said he was giving me the wall. See, I'm interested in her backstory. Until I decided to so take back my world. I wasn't going to be dictated to by mad old men anymore. And then I come here to meet. And what do I find? The same. A mad, cruel. Yeah. Man. Never again, God Grand. Never again. She's a true um villain. Then I see I like her character. Honestly, like in the show so far, she's by far the most interesting to me. Mm. Like it I'm not at a point where like I'm not enjoying the show. Mm. But I'm starting to get and maybe some just uh, between episodes we get time off yeah so i kind of get a better idea but like i'm starting to very clearly see whose stories i actually enjoyed most so like when they show camilla i'm like very interested but even trevor sometimes i'm like it's like give me more give me more to like really like because his personality is very bland uh and i know that's it's a funny way in a funny way yeah, yeah. but sometimes i'm like all right but i need something to really make me interested in what you're going yeah for. um but yeah, it's, it's like that. You know the scene when he found the treasure with the whip? Oh. It was like, whoa. And it was just like, it was like, I can't believe it. It was like, I can't believe it. I was like, okay, what is it? And he just takes it and he goes, morning. Then he, the morning star. Morning wood. Oh, sorry. I can't remember what morning wood. The yeah. morning wood. And then that's it. And I'm like, give me more. Give me like what is that? tales. Yeah. Give me, you know, show me history. Like, I want something where I go, that is an interesting. Um, like very engaging story mm. and with camilla because she's so like unpredictable in the sense of she's trying to she, manipulate multiple things yeah she's quite mysterious so far quite mysterious i mm. love that about her because every time she's on this on the screen i'm like okay who is it that you're gonna be trying to talk to now who are you gonna try and convince to do your bidding yeah and to work with you like with godbrand godbrand's this you know very specific character she just flips the switch kicks him down Tells him what she's up to. Tells him this quick story, and that little story of her killing the previous vampire uh, no. that was um, that turned her. Yeah, yeah, that turned her. I was like, that's awesome. Mm. That three-minute segment was awesome. So I don't want to sound like I'm complaining about the show. I just sometimes the characters get the most screen time aren't the most interesting to me. It's the ones that get less. I'm like, oh, that's a cool, that's a cool fact right there. Uh, but we'll continue this episode three, uh, four. We'll continue this. Don't worry, we'll episode four. If you enjoyed it, let us know. Drop a like. Were you frustrated or not? Let me know. Bye. Peace.